Hello spiritual seekers. Welcome back to our channel where we dive deep into the realms of spirituality and personal development. Today, we're exploring a profound topic that resonates through time and tradition, the laws of karma. What is karma? Karma, a term that originated from the ancient Sanskrit language, literally means action or deed. It's a cornerstone concept in many Eastern philosophies and religions, including Hinduism, Buddhism, and Jainism. Karma is the invisible and inscrutable force that is believed to shape our lives through our actions and intentions. It's not just about cause and effect, it's about the ethical footprint we leave in the universe, which echoes across our lifetimes. The idea of karma first appears in the oldest Hindu text, the Rigveda, and gains philosophical weight in the Upanishads, where the consequences of actions are attached to it, giving it a moral dimension. Unlike the Abrahamic traditions where divine agency rewards or punishes, karma operates autonomously, justifying the present situation of an individual and rationalizing the cycle of birth and death, known as samsara. Now let's delve into the five main laws of karma, based on some influential works written on this topic. 1. The Law of Creation The Law of Creation is about understanding that our lives are not just a series of random events but a canvas we paint with our actions and intentions. It's not enough to wish for something, we must actively participate in bringing it to fruition. This law teaches us that we are the architects of our destiny, and every thought, word, and deed is a brushstroke on the canvas of our lives. For example, if you desire happiness, you must create joy around you by practicing kindness and gratitude. The Bhagavad Gita emphasizes this proactive approach to life, encouraging us to perform our duties with dedication and without attachment to the outcomes. It's about making conscious choices that align with our values and goals, knowing that each decision contributes to the masterpiece we're creating. Just as an artist selects colors and strokes carefully to create a beautiful painting, we must choose our actions wisely to create the life we envision. 2. The Law of Humility The Law of Humility centers on the acceptance of our current reality as a reflection of past actions. It's a call to acknowledge that our present circumstances, whether favorable or unfavorable, didn't arise out of nowhere. They are the results of our previous choices. This law is vividly portrayed in the Tibetan Book of the Dead, which guides us to confront and accept the truth of our existence. By recognizing that our ego and actions have led us to where we are, we open the door to transformation and growth. For instance, if we find ourselves in conflict, instead of blaming external factors, we look inward to find the root cause within our behavior or mindset. This humility allows us to learn from our experiences and paves the way for genuine change. 3. The Law of Growth The Law of Growth is an aspect of karma that often goes misunderstood. It's easy to fall into the trap of viewing karma as a system of cosmic retribution, a simplistic eye for an eye that punishes us for our misdeeds with suffering and rewards our good deeds with joy. However, this interpretation misses the profound nuance of karma as a path of learning and evolution. Karma should be seen as the universe's way of steering us towards growth and self-improvement. It's not about suffering for the sake of suffering. It's about encountering challenges that push us to expand our understanding, compassion, and resilience. When we face difficulties, it's an invitation to look deeper into our actions, thoughts, and intentions, and to learn valuable lessons that can redirect our journey towards a more enlightened state. For instance, consider the loss of a job. While it's easy to view this as a punishment or a stroke of bad luck, the law of growth encourages us to see it as an opportunity for self-reflection and redirection. 
Perhaps this loss is a sign to reassess our career path, to develop new skills, or to pursue a passion we've long neglected. It's a chance to grow beyond our comfort zone and to discover new facets of our potential. Similarly, when we experience personal loss or emotional pain, instead of sinking into despair, we can choose to see these experiences as lessons in empathy and strength. They teach us to value our connections, to cherish the present, and to cultivate a deeper appreciation for the fragility and beauty of life. These teachings are not punishments. They are the universe's way of guiding us towards a richer, more meaningful existence. In embracing the law of growth, we acknowledge that karma is not a judge meeting out sentences, but a wise teacher guiding us through a curriculum of life lessons. It's a journey of transformation where every problem, loss, and moment of suffering is a lesson leading us in the right direction towards greater awareness, compassion, and enlightenment. 4. The Law of Responsibility This law asserts that every aspect of our being, our mental states, our spoken words, and our physical actions is under our jurisdiction and, therefore, our responsibility. In the realm of karma, there is no room for blaming external circumstances or other people for the situations we find ourselves in. The root of our experiences lies within us. Our external reality is a reflection of our internal state. Every deed we perform has consequences, and we must accept the outcomes of our actions, whether they are immediate or delayed. This is not to say that we are punished for our actions. Rather, we are presented with the results of our choices, which offer lessons and opportunities for growth. It's important to understand that this law is not about self-blame or guilt. Instead, it's about empowerment and the recognition that we have the ability to change our circumstances by changing ourselves. When we take responsibility for our thoughts, words, and actions, we step into a position of control over our destiny. We become proactive agents of change, capable of transforming our lives and the world around us. 5. The Law of Connection I would like to talk about this law in more detail, as I believe it to be the foundation upon which all other laws of karma based. The Law of Connection speaks to the fundamental interconnectedness of all things. It's a principle that resonates deeply within the teachings of karma, suggesting that every event, person, and experience is linked in a complex web of cause and effect. This law posits that what we often perceive as coincidences are actually the result of a series of interconnected events and actions, each influencing the other. In Buddhism, this concept is known as dependent origination or dependent arising. It teaches that nothing exists in isolation. Everything is the result of a network of interdependent causes and conditions. For example, consider the growth of an apple tree. It's not just the seed that creates the tree, but a multitude of factors, the soil, water, sunlight, and care it receives. Remove one element and the outcome changes. This interconnectedness extends to our actions and their consequences. A kind gesture or harsh word doesn't just affect the immediate recipient but ripples out to influence others in ways we may never see. The mind-only school of Buddhist thought further elaborates on this by suggesting that our actions shape our reality through a process of construct activation. Aligning with psychological research on how expectations can shape our experiences. This implies that our mental construct, that is our beliefs, attitudes, and expectation, play a significant role in how we perceive and interact with the world, thus influencing the karmic cycle. When we adopt a mindset of interconnectedness, we begin to see that our actions are not just about us. They're about the collective experience and the shared journey of all beings. By understanding this, we cultivate a sense of responsibility and compassion, 
recognizing that our smallest actions can contribute to the greater good or detriment of all. The idea that there are no coincidences is a powerful one. It encourages us to live more mindfully, understanding that our every action, thought, and intention has significance. It's a call to live with purpose and to recognize our role in the grand tapestry of existence. When we embrace this law, we see that we are not just passive observers of life but active participants in a dynamic, interconnected universe. By understanding and applying these laws, we can navigate life with greater awareness and intention, creating a reality that reflects our highest aspirations. Remember, karma is not just about retribution. It's about creation, humility, growth, responsibility, and most importantly, connection. It's a guide for living a conscious and ethical life that honors the interconnectedness of all beings. Understanding and embracing the laws of karma empowers us to live a life of purpose and fulfillment. It's a journey of self-discovery, where each step we take shapes not only our destiny but the cosmos at large. Remember, we are the architects of our fate, and with every mindful action, we weave the tapestry of our existence. So, let's create a beautiful masterpiece together. Stay inspired. And until next time, keep evolving and spreading positivity. I wish you all the best in your journey.